So for this process, I'm actually going to be using Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud. Um, this is a monthly subscription that costs about $10 a month for just the Photoshop version. There are others with more um, Creative Cloud programs like Illustrator and um, Lightroom and things like that, but I just subscribe to the Photoshop one. And for me, it is definitely worth the $10 investment. If you enjoy um, creating cards and recoloring them and using some of the digital elements from Ali Edwards' kit, I definitely um, think that Photoshop is the way to go. All right, so first of all, I'm going to tell you all a little bit about why I actually recolor some of Allie's journaling cards to begin with. So we're gonna go to open right here and um, go into my Allie Edwards Digitals, which is the folder where all of my story kits live. And I'm just gonna pick a couple of cards at random to show you. So as you can see, I have these five cards right here and they all have kind of a different color scheme. This one is from the Fabric Story Kit, um, these two are from the Brave Story Kit, this one's from the Give Story Kit, and this one is from the Heart Story Kit, all by Allie Edwards. So if I were going to use all five of these cards in the same layout, they obviously wouldn't match very well together, as you can see right here. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is show you how to recolor all of these cards to match the same color scheme so that they all have the same kinds of colors on there and they all match really well. So um, let's just say that the colors of my layout are these colors. And for me, I usually do use one particular Ali Edwards card and base my color palette off of that. You can also use a program called coolers.co, which is a web, um, a web program that will generate color schemes for you. And if you're just starting from just scratch, you don't have a color scheme in mind or anything like that, this will really um, help you choose colors that work really well together. As you can see, I have this really pretty um, lavender color scheme right here. But as I said, usually I'm working from um, one story card that I really want to use and then I want to recolor all of the elements um, to go with that one card. So let's just say that I want to use the colors in this particular card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this little rectangle right here that has the color. This is your foreground color and I'm going to click on it so that this color picker box shows up and I'm just going to click on a color. So this one is this really, really pretty pink color right here. The hex code shows up right there. I press OK and now that is my foreground color. So now I'm going to go over to this journaling card and um, since this is, actually let's do, let's do it this way. I'm going to pick this color as my foreground color and then I'm gonna go over to this journaling card. And since this kind of has a light to dark thing going on right here, I'm actually going to use this red color to recolor in this heart word. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna make sure that the red color is in my color picker. And then I'm gonna right click on this little button that has the triple dots. This brings up um, all of the other tools that can't fit in this one toolbar right here. Sometimes in some workspaces, the paint bucket tool will already be in your toolbar, but um, in the one that I'm working on, which is the graphic and web workspace in Photoshop, I have to look into the extra tools to get the paint bucket tool. So we're gonna click on the paint bucket tool. So once I have the paint bucket tool selected, I'm just going to go over here and since I want the word heart to be this red color, I'm just going to click on that word somewhere on the word. So I'm clicking right here and look, my heart is now red. Now this little period right here is not, it's still the dark orange. So I'm going to click on that and boom, red. Super simple, right? All right, so now we have that last word heart recolored. So now we're gonna work on deer and let's see here, which one is the slightly lighter color? Probably this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that foreground color again, 
wait until my little eyedropper tool pops up and then I'm just gonna click anywhere on this heart that has the color that I want and the hex code shows up I'm gonna press OK now this heart color is now my foreground color so I'm going to go over to this other card make sure my paint bucket tool is selected and then I'm just going to select um, I'm just going to click on any part of the letter deer, of the word deer. So I'm just going to continue doing this. Um, this is probably the next to lightest color. Hex code shows up with the eyedropper tool. Make sure paint bucket is selected and then there we go. Alright, so now I have this really pretty pink color and I'm just going to click anywhere on the have and there we go. Now this drawing card matches this one right here and we managed to actually keep the same look of having lighter to darker pinks and reds which I think is really cool now let's go to this one now for this one this is again that really orangey color and let's say that I want to make it um, this mint color so I'm gonna go into color picker um, click the mint with my little eyedropper tool make sure that the hex code matches so make sure that this mint and this mint matches and then I'm gonna go over here click on the paint bucket tool and then I'm just gonna simply click that orange background and there we go now it's mint now if you notice anything that's enclosed any color that is enclosed inside of another color like this O, the middle of the the O is still orange. So what we're gonna do is we're just simply going to click the little part of orange that we can see, and now the entire card, the background, is mint with white letters. So there we have that one, and then this one is from the Fabric Story Kit, and I want to make the threads, the word threads, this color right here. So I'm going to choose that with my eyedropper tool, make sure paint bucket is selected, and then I'm just going to click on any part of the threads word. And there we go. Now we have four cards that were very different colors, and now they all match together as one cohesive set. All right, so this card is in shades of orange and definitely does not work with the cards that we have already done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a couple different colors to use in this card. So let us choose, hmm, let's choose this light pink color for the background. So I'm just gonna click anywhere on the background and everything pops up. And then I'm going to use this darker pink color on the little dots. So how I'm going to do this is I'm just going to click on every single one of those dots. And um, for something like this, where there's some smaller, smaller dots like this one, um, I would probably go in to 150% so that I can really see what I'm doing and making sure that I'm not clicking on this part because that will change the background color. So I wanna make sure that I'm actually clicking on what color I want to change. And if you do accidentally click the background and change it to a color that you don't want, just simply go into the edit and then undo paint bucket right here. And then it will bring it back to its normal status. Great, right, so this is what all of our cards look like together. As you can see, if you added all of these to the same layout, no one would know the difference. You would never be able to tell that these cards came from different kits or had different color schemes. So just as a refresher, this is what the cards looked like before we recolored them, and this is how they look after. All right, so this is my process for recoloring journal cards. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, or if you have any suggestions um, for future Photoshop Friday tutorials, I would love to hear them. Um, again, leave a comment down below, like this video if you're so inclined, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. Thanks so much, and have a great day. Bye.